You know, breaking news here this morning, 15 banks received the shock of their life by getting their credit downgraded. Did y'all hear what I said? 15 of them. Now, it is already said and reported by RT that these particular banks right here, what they've been doing is lobbying the credit rating agencies like Moody's, i.e. really Moody's. And the reason why they're doing this is because they know that once their credit gets downgraded, you know, based on how they are as far as an, uh, a bank independent, they know that that's going to send shockwaves throughout all the economies of the world and those people who are informed, not, not those of us who are already woke up and have been woke up for quite some time, but they know that it's going to send all the investors in the world to flee into tangible assets, i.e. gold and silver. And this is what they don't want to do. They want to continue to keep this paper Ponzi scheme perpetuated. As a matter of fact, you want this paper scheme to keep on going. Um, because you've already been manipulated. You've had your conscience and mind manipulated that paper is somehow money. I don't understand it for the life of I me. Mean, I mean, I just don't get it. But nevertheless, these credit rating agencies apparently, all right, hey, they're fleeing the abandoned ship too, and they're not playing this game. And there's no amount of money they can continue to keep sliding under the table to give to these agencies and stop them from downgrading. So what you're looking at, you're looking at a bunch of people we are getting ready to flee into tangible assets, i.e. gold and silver. And don't worry about the silver that's going down. It's a buying opportunity. Keep buying, keep buying, keep stacking, keep stacking. Because J.P. Morgan is doing a massive sell-off right now. Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, HSBC, hey, they're all done. And, and I want to leave you with this bit of news right here. All these central banks are amassing gold and silver while they're continually trying to allure and deceive investors to continually invest in them, and yet they will not do any lending. Because, hey, what, what purpose is the lending for anyway when all you can do is to continue to keep expanding the debt of a country? I mean, here in America, it is a debt-based society. Do you understand that? If you don't understand what it means, let me explain real quick, fast, and in a hurry. This nation exists on debt, and it has no plans, nowhere in the eternal future, to pay off this debt. It is totally driven by credit. And as Ben Shalom Bernanke says, as long as we have a printing press, we can print all the money in the world, and we can pay every single debt that we have. Well, undermining, flying under the radar, as they continue to keep playing these mental gymnastics with us, guess what? China is buying up massive amounts of land here in America because of the extraordinary amount of debt that we have amassed in this country. You know, so-called elected politicians who don't even know how to balance a checkbook. Well, there's a lot of collusion that has been practiced, not only in the economic front, but also in the religious front. I hope that you have the eyes to see, the ears to hear, and then when you finally come to that proverbial train wreck of the truth, that you would have the courage and the mouth to speak the truth, and the truth straightway.